troubleshooting crashes with AutoCAD Map 3D. My name is Katie Jakes. I'm the Global Technical Lead for GIS within Product Support at Autodesk. Today we'll be covering troubleshooting tips and tricks within AutoCAD Map 3D. We'll talk about the types of crashes that may occur, how to identify them, and common things that you can do to help solve them. On our agenda, we'll cover three main topics. We'll go over a troubleshooting checklist that product support recommends for all users for helping identify crashes and potentially solving the issues. We'll talk about common areas for crashes within the product. Also, we'll talk about the uh, error reports that you oftentimes will have an option to log when you do incur, uh, in encounter a crash and how to work with Autodesk product support. The first item in our troubleshooting checklist is to always make sure the latest service pack updates or hot fixes have been installed for the product. Also, check that the system requirements for your product have been met. For example, are you working on a supported auto operating system? Are your video card drivers up to date? Uh, printer drivers, anything that we suggest when we put out the product documentation so that we can eliminate certain pieces being a potential cause of the crash. The next thing on our checklist is to document and know when exactly your crash is happening and what's the exact error message of your crash. Oftentimes when you have this information, you can then go to the Autodesk Knowledge Base, which is up on the autodesk.com website, or refer to the README for your products as well to know about known issues and potential solutions or workarounds. An example of this was you may uh, get an error message when performing a specific task, fatal error, some sort of number, unhandled access, violation. Uh, these are the error messages that we want to know about. Uh, screen captures are often recommended for these so that when you are logging a support request, we may ask you for that exact error message. It's much easier, obviously, when you have a screen capture as opposed to having to uh, you know, take down that number verbatim. Also checking other sources as well. So there's um, Autodesk uh, sponsored discussion groups. There's numerous blogs, both from the Autodesk team here, as well as other users that you can leverage. Um, and these are locations where lots of users are probably running into similar issues. And, you know, oftentimes there's already a solution out there. It didn't solve my problem. So if the checklist doesn't fix the issue, what's your next step? How can you move forward? So what to do next without smashing your computer? <laughs> so if your product's up to date and nothing was found in the knowledge base, trying to identify your potential cause of that crash to avoid further crashes when using your software. From a practical point of view, a crash can be linked to a various number of things. Specific data sets, so it could be your drawing file, it could be the raster images embedded in your file, it could be, in the example of AutoCAD Map 3D, it could be FDO data. Hardware or hardware features, so are you working on a 32-bit operating system or a 64? Have your graphic card, uh, are they, you know, are they current? Have they been checked against our database? Do you have adequate memory on your computer? The operating system, um, so Windows 7, is it supported if you're working with an earlier product than 2011? Uh, .NET might be the issue, it could be a user account, uh, permissions issue, or it could be the actual product itself. Maybe it was a bad install, DLL files didn't get installed in a certain location. So one of the challenges is to find out if the crash is related to the data set, machine, or if it's directly linked to a feature in the program. The more you know when you're logging your support request with Autodesk, the better and faster we can typically help you. Crashes, you know, can be very easy to reproduce sometimes, but also they can be very difficult to reproduce. So the more information that we have at our, at our disposal when we're helping you, it can help everyone in the long run. When narrowing down causes of crashes, there's four major themes that we check for. We want to check to see if it's drawing related, if it's user profile related, if it's machine specific, or if it's related to the installation somehow. So the flowchart we're going to go through now is going to walk us through some of the troubleshooting steps.
So if it's a drawing related issue, things you can check. So you want to open a drawing that's part of the tutorial set that gets installed with your product to see if you can reproduce the issue. If you cannot reproduce it within the tutorial data, but you can in a customer drawing, then we want to check that template of that drawing that the customer or you yourself are using. And then you want to check to see if you can reproduce it in the DWT file. If you can re reproduce it in a drawing or the drawing template, then the drawing or the drawing template is corrupted. And we'll talk about troubleshooting those corruption steps in a second. We want to check to see if it's user profile related. So you want to test this on another machine. Can you reproduce it? If you cannot reproduce this on another machine, you want to have a new user log on to that machine in question. Um, so someone that has similar pr uh, pro, uh, permissions, for example, um, but then you also want to check probably someone that has different permissions as well. If you still cannot reproduce this under a new user's profile, then more than likely that you have a corrupted user profile and you can reset the user settings per the appropriate technical solution that you can find out on autodesk.com. If it's machine specific, you can reproduce on the same machine under multiple user profiles, typically is uh, meaning it's machine specific. So what's different on this machine than others that work? Uh, do you have different drivers installed? Is there not, uh, is there third party applications installed? User permissions levels? Are all the same system specifications the same? What we wanna do is we wanna launch Map3D in Windows Diagnostic Mode. Can you reproduce it then? We want to check the installed graphics card. Is it supported and do you have the latest drivers um, downloaded? There's a um, link from the Autodesk support pages that you can check your graphics cards. Um, there's a database that we have certified um, for graphics cards that you can utilize. And we also want to check prerequisites such as Microsoft.NET framework. Um, this is actually a common uh, place where we see corruption that can cause issues within Map3D. Is it installation related? Are you working with a network or a standalone installation? And if it's a standalone um, or a network on one machine, we could do a repair installation through the add and remove programs. And potentially, if we have to go this route as well, a clean install per the appropriate technical solution that you can find out, again out on autodesk.com. If it's a network installation and you have multiple on machines. It could be um, possibly a bad deployment. So one step is to just recreate the deployment and then run a test installation just to uh, avoid this scenario would be a future best practice. Um, so oftentimes you can head it off at the pass if you test it before you roll it out to other machines. So for more specific troubleshooting, does this happen in one drawing or in all drawings? So if it's in one drawing and we've identified that there's no other uh, issues related to it besides the actual corrupted drawing, uh, we can run a reco recover, audit, and a purge. You can also W block out the entire contents of the drawing into a new clean drawing, such as AutoCAD, uh, the AutoCAD template, DWT. If you're still unable to open the drawing, you can attempt to recover the backup of the file. Um, there might be a .bak file or uh, another file that you can use if it's happening for all drawings, then the issue could be coming from your drawing template. So we want to check for corruption there as well. Also, if it's in all drawings, it could be related to your user profile, installation, or hardware. Again, we want to check that it installed graphics cards, make sure it's supported, and make sure we have all the latest drivers. And then there's the possible .NET framework corruption issue. Um, so what we may have you do is go into the add remove programs and uninstall the previous versions of .NET and then install the latest from the Microsoft website directly. Does the issue occur on one machines or multiple machines? So this is where it's not necessarily drawing specific, but it could be the actual installation of the, of the program. We want to make sure that all machines have the latest updates and meet the minimum specifications that Autodesk has recommended. If it's on one machine, we want to have just a different a new user log on to that machine, initiating a secondary installer. If they're unable to reproduce the issue, then we want to reset those users' settings. If it's still happening, we want to um, attempt a repair installation from add or remove programs, and then 
kind of last resort is to do a clean installation. And we have a technical solution on the Autodesk.com knowledge base that walks you through these steps. Also, we want to check that graphics cards one more time um, just to make sure and again, eliminate that .NET framework issue. If this is occurring on all machines, have they all been installed from the same deployment? Is every user using the same profile ARG file? We may want to try just an out of the box ARG file, see if the issue reproduces. It could just be that the ARG file is corrupted and it just needs to be recreated. Also, it could be a possible bad deployment, so we could try uh, installing directly from the DVDs and then recreate the deployment if, if necessary. So some common areas that we find in AutoCAD and MAP um, for crashing is, again, that .NET framework. How do we know that there's an issue related to this? Well, there's no actual specific way for us to tell if the crash is related to it or not. So reinstalling .NET is part of a general resolution approach. Um, even if we're not 100% positive .NET's the issue or not. It's a small process to go through um, to avoid having to either reinstall your whole uh, Autodesk program or running a repair in it as well, knowing that those are both very time consuming. Um, we find a lot of issues with memory related issues. Um, so if we're working with large data sets, um, we could have um, reference you know, to memory type crashes. Uh, enabling the three gigabyte switch and you can just search on autodesk.com slash support for this solution. Uh, also, there's a known issue with the map insert that was fixed inside map 2010. Um, but if you are not using map 2010 or, or newer, that could be an issue. And then there's some other strategies to reduce memory consumption, um, which again, doing a search within autodesk.com support can normally uh, find most of the workarounds for you. Um, plotting and printing, particularly for map up to release 2010, the map plot transparency was very troublesome. Uh, we also want to check the plot relating settings, so your plot quality and things like that, uh, to see if that could in fact be causing an issue. CER reports. So these are um, error reports that happen after a crash occurs within your program. And here's an example of one that you see on your screen here. In theory, all or nearly all of crashes should end up with this error report. And these are really essential for our development team so they know exactly when the crash is occurring within the system. And they can actually track these. And if there's error reports that are happening in common areas um, within the program for multiple users, then they're going to address those hopefully in either an, some sort of a hot fix or within the next update or service pack for the program. These error reports are sometimes helpful for product support as well when we're troubleshooting, but that email address field that you see there needs to be filled out so that we can actually search for these error reports within the database. So uh, for resellers, we encourage that you use and encourage your clients to use these error reports and send them. And for end users, you know, please be in practice to send these as well, especially if you're running into repeated ones over and over again. In summary, we've talked about what to do in the event of a crash. We reviewed the troubleshooting checklist, workflow for common crash themes, such as if it's drawing specific, user profile specific, machine or installation specific. And we've also talked about the different Autodesk resources that are available for troubleshooting these crashes. Please visit autodesk.com support for more information and the technical solutions that were referred to earlier in this discussion. Thank you.